take a few standard parent functions and perform some functional transformations on them. We'll concentrate for this video just on horizontal and vertical translation factors. Okay, so original function first is f of x equals x squared. We'll perform a right translation of 3 and we'll perform a up translation of 5. So as a result of those two translations, our ending function f of x star, f star of x, will be x squared, but because of the right translation of 3, we're going to subtract 3. So shifting to the right means subtract 3 from x. And then for the vertical translation of going up 5, we will add 5, not with the x, but on the outside of the original representation of the function. So minus 3 is the right shift, plus 5 is the up shift. So there's our final answer for the first problem. Second problem. Uh, the parent function would be g of x is the negative square root of x, and we are going to perform a translation horizontally of 4 left and vertically of 2 up. So for this answer, we're going to get a g star, gang star, of the original function was a negative absolute value of x. The shift 4 left would indicate that we would add 4 to the piece that's with the x, the piece that's under the radical. And then for the up 2, we'll tack on a plus 2 outside of the radical onto the end result of the function. So there is the answer to this functional transformation. Now I'm going to pause, or you should pause the video, try to do this absolute value one on your own. But assuming you gave it a shot here, pause for a second and try it on your own. There's our parent function, absolute value of x. Here is our horizontal translation, 6 left, and here is our vertical, 4 units down. So the h star graph will be, oops, I meant to put that in red, h star will be still the absolute value function, absolute value of x, but the 6 left would be a plus 6 with the x, because it's horizontal, so it's with the x, and down 4 would mean instead of the others, which we're adding because we're going up, this time we're going to subtract, because that's how we represent vertically a shift downward. So the final answer, hopefully you got h star of x equals absolute value of x plus 6 minus 4.